do you see this in the, uh, here? Or maybe I have to make it closer. Oops. This is going to be a little bit more complex, I hope. That's what I was telling everybody. If you're going to watch this webinar, you have to watch the quantum manifestation first. Should I move it closer? Uh, how are you? How are you? Hello, Marina. Wonderful. Thank you. Hi. You've watched the quantum manifestation video? Yes. This is deeper. This is complex. So that's what I'm saying. Please, if any question, just ask because I'm going to go very deep into the quantum structure. Yeah. Anything I know is going to be complex, but usually people that come at this point already know. That's why I was saying uh, learn the first part because they noticed that was misunderstanding and they gave me that information so people that are really um, to understand even better into the structure. And yeah. I just received that I was just sitting in the couch and they go, you got to put this down. Yeah. And I delay like three days, and they reminded me. If you ask more questions, more information will come. That's why I like the interaction, because I don't know everything. My information comes instantaneously. Okay, uh, I think we have everybody from Romania that I have. They're broadcasting this. Everybody, I just want to let you know that your, your microphone is unmuted, and you're welcome to chime in and say hi. My name is Joe Pena. Uh, Marina refers to me as her co-host, but I'm essentially her producer. <laughs> I yeah. think it's very generous of, of her on her part. Marina, ready to begin? In three, two. Hi, everybody. I'm here today with um, uh, with uh, Jorge Pena, and um, I'm going to present um, the quantum structure again. Uh, one of the days they downloaded this information for me, which is from the Council of Nine and the Eleven Dimensional Beings, because they saw that needed a deeper understanding of the quantum manifestation, how it works. And my suggestion is, in order to really go into this video, please watch, uh, before you watch this video, Marina Jacobi with Coho Jopena Quantum Manifestation because that is the overall how everything works. But the mobilizing structure, which is the webinar today, it's how it's more deeper in explanation uh, because the, the being saw that we needed to understand even better into the quantum field because it was misunderstanding. So um, I'm going to go and read exactly what they said. We're going to go step by step. And I have a board here that I will explain uh, bit by bit. If you have any questions, please feel free to write or uh, on the chat room or um, whatever the questions are. And I can receive perhaps more information. That's why I love interaction uh, this way. Uh, because will be more information be downloaded. As you know, my information comes uh, instantaneously, so I may not know at the moment. At the moment you ask me a question, I can get a download, it, which is could be pictures, could be geometry, and I will know exactly what to say to you. By the way, what I do, you, we all can do. That's what I'm teaching this for everybody, because what I do is just ahead of the game. All of us have disabilities. You just have to open the Pandora box and accept all the information that is coming. That's why we talk about raising frequency, proper diet, uh, behaving in a proper way towards people. What is proper is also uh, you know, a different way of thinking, but um, we know that in order to reach this level of understanding, you have to be very generous to people, generous to yourself, and um, work through the heart structure. And this is why it's so important for us to get together like this and discuss. Uh, because that's how we're creating and we manifest in fifth dimensional structure. My goal is to implement different vibrational sequences in your consciousness because then you're going to start doing this moment to moment to moment and you're going to crystallize for yourself parallel reality that you're going to project and shift into depending on the vibration that you stand in moment to moment. So that is important to learn. And a lot of this is in the quantum manifestation video. Marina Jacobi, quantum manifestation. That's number one. Then is the ET connection to quantum manifestation. And this is the third one, which is 
mobilizing structures. So I'm going to start in the beginning for anybody to for everybody to remind uh, that the quantum structure is made from. I'm going to go closer to the screen uh, because I have this already picture ready. Do you guys all see that? Uh, okay. The whole field of consciousness is based on frequencies. They could be different and similar in resonance and vibration. They usually, they all, now usually always combine by trinity. For example, those three combine and they create plasma and gravitational field. And once they create plasma and gravitational field, in the middle is the black hole, which is through the black hole, by the way, is how you shift in to another part of the reality and creating another hologram for yourself, okay? The hologram is done by your emotions, vibrational thoughts, and deeds. So you have to understand that your emotion is a frequency sound vibration. We talk a lot about this into the quantum manifestation video. So once you do that, you know that in the entire quantum field, everything is basically based on this type of plasma magnetic and gravitational fields. And they interact. Uh, disengage, engage all the time, and they create different type of realities at all time. Once you lower the vibration of this plasma and gravitational field, it becomes matter, basically different state of vibrational sequence. That's how it becomes matter. This pencil, for example, also has a frequency that is based on different density of pl plasma and gravitational field, and this is the reason why uh, it feels this way. But in actuality, your consciousness is actually projecting and playing with density of matter. If I go by electronic microscope, this is literally sound and light. That's what it is. You also need to understand, if you go to my um, um, website, the books of nanotechnology uh, and the harmonic reactor is there. If you'd like to download and learn more, understand that this particle is also nanoparticle. It goes to the infinite and goes to the smallest parts. It expands depending on the breathing. The collapse is the zero point. Zero point is stillness. We're going to talk about this today. Stillness is absolutely no frequency coming in, no frequency coming out. It's awareness. Where you at in the quantum field. You need to know the location where you at. So consciousness is made of one particle that is vibrating in a very high speed of vibration and it's appearing next to itself, next to itself, next to itself to infinite number. That's what consciousness. So basically, you're existing in an infinite number of parallel realities simultaneously everywhere. Bylaw that is very important to know that you cannot think of something if it doesn't exist in a quantum field. You have to know the vibrational sequence first of that reality in order to recall it, in order for you to have an image to see it. If you don't know the vibration, you're not going to recall it. That means at the same time you exist in multiple realities. Think of yourself of you watching a screen in front of a screen that you have a multiple realities of screens and at the same time you see them which one you're going to experience is depending on the vibration the emotion vibrational sequence the deeds and the action that you're taking towards it that's your remote control if you know how to implement that that's what we need to know how when your situation you need to pull out and now you're in front of the, that screen of movie screens. And then you're going to stay still like of awareness. What you're doing is you're checking where you're at in that quantum field, what location. Because if you don't know your location as a consciousness where you're at, you're going to pop out of the reality and you're going to end up in completely different reality or timeline without knowing where you're at in the quantum field. You need to know your location because once you know and you the next frequency vibration from the awareness that you have has to pop in into the next level. Basically, you're going to create the next reality. Because remember, you're shifting from reality to another reality to infinite amount of number. You're basically shifting. 
Can you see well what I just did here? Okay. Uh, so basically, when you create one reality, you shift into another. The reason why we're going to go to mobilizing structure because we're going to go deeper. When you have a situation, for example, and if somebody is in front of you, you want to disengage, you do not start screaming at that person if that person is screaming to you. Because at the moment you act, you're given a vibrational sequence, which is a dancing frequency, and the next moment you're projecting and you're shifting to reality that the outcome of that situation could be negative because you projected in the first place negative frequency. So the goal here is to pull back and to say, I understand where I am, that person is disturbed, and now stay still with no emotion to come out of you. Because if you give an emotion, have an awareness. If you give an emotion, the next parallel reality to go to shift into will be accordingly to that negative frequency that you end up giving. Is everybody understanding this so far? Okay, just now because I see your screen, so I know I'm on the right path. Thank you. So now we're going to go into mobilizing structure. Joe, if you want to put in the screen that, and I'm going to go step by step, and uh, if I have to write something, I will write it so we can go with you. All right, give me just one second, Marina. You want the one with the text, is that correct? Yes, please. Is it showing up? Now, the first one is say, let's just say, for example, that you can construct two levels of parallel realities. In each level of parallel reality that is implemented has its own frequency, vibrational, geometric pattern code. But sometimes the vibration of each is not going to merge the other parallel reality and make one linear now unit. Can you go back into the screen, the big screen? Um, I thought I had, I thought I had it on the big screen, Marina. What, what are you seeing on your computer right now? Yeah, I want to go back into because I'm going to explain. Oh, back to you. I see. Now I follow you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Stop the share. There you go. Okay. What do you mean here? Hold on that when you basically constructing two timelines, for example, this is number one timeline and this is number two. Remember, you're shifting constantly from one to another. And if this is, let me just put like a difference, you know, is the, the difference, this is totally different ones. But remember, when we construct in different timelines, they're somehow similar in frequency but they're not exact the same frequency. When you start constructing something, they, what they mean is that you, when you pull out, you see something in a quantum field. But when you pull out, you have to understand that you're existing in a stillness at that moment. And when you have two different uh, realities, because you're shifting from one reality to another, those two realities have to be very similar in vibration in order for you to manifest, can you see here, a, from those two, you make the, the trinity. So from one plus one, we'll make three. Does everybody understand that? Uh, could, you, could you go over that just one more time, that last point that you made, how the two come together and you can get to a third? Because you are shifting from one reality into another, basically, if this is your first hologram that you hear now, and you immediately shift into the other one, and you're constructing another hologram, reprinting everything back in with everything that is exist around you. But, for example, if those two, because from the emotion, you end up switching your energetic field, and you end up switching your energetic field so drastically that now your step your emotion to being happiness went into doubt. And if you go into doubt, you immediately drop in to another reality. And your manifestation to the next one is not going to be like this one. It's going to be basically in the negative because you end up dropping your emotion into negative. The goal is to stay in a steady emotion. 
in a happiness if you want a happy if you want to react to that person stay with a positive because the positive is going to give you a positive and if this is the negative you're going to end up dropping and all of a sudden your outcome is completely going to go in a negative yes so wouldn't the arrow then as long as you're using arrows wouldn't the arrow go from the bubble on the top to the bubble toward the on the bottom? That's right. I was writing. Yeah, thank you. I was writing two different timelines. Okay, that's okay. I'm glad you okay. make the distinction. Good. Okay. So, so basically, if you stay steady and you react to that person through the positive, your next thing that you're going to project is going to be in the positive. Even if you see the person is continue, you continue projecting the positive emotion. Because the positive emotion, again, is a frequency style. And that is what you project in your next hologram. And what you want to do is override the negative so you end up projecting moment to moment and totally create a timeline of positive when those two all of a sudden is going to become like the three. One plus one equals three. So you're going to merge and make completely from two different structures because you end up holding the positive frequency all the time, you end up projecting a third, but that third could be positive or negative, but it's going to be in a positive because you end up holding systematically, step by step, moment to moment, shifting from uh, parallel reality to parallel reality, and you end up creating a timeline of the outcome that one plus one equals three of reality, that now you project something positive came out of the whole structure. Do you guys get that? So the goal is to stay in a positive. Don't forget that those two are totally different timelines and totally different parallel realities that you coexist at the same time. But you're shifting by your choosing. This is the reason why they talk about zero point and staying a stillness. Because zero point is to not giving off or giving in completely. You're just aware where you act in a quantum field. So the next emotion and action that you decide to do, that's how you choose what to do, is based on what you choose. And this is how you control your parallel realities. This is the control. Otherwise, it's just random because you cannot control your emotions and all of a sudden you end up projecting and shifting to completely negative because your emotion end up dropping down. So remember that the emotion is always the one that is giving the frequency to the, the next one and you're infusing it by the deed, you're taking an action. So you have to understand that the emotions and the way we project our thoughts is creating the hologram and shifting you. So that's why it's so fundamental to be moment to moment in your excitement and hold the vibration of positivity, even if you see that somebody is giving negative stuff. Because you want to keep projecting over and over and over and override the negative with the positive so your outcome of the two timelines becomes completely into one unit, positive outcome, positive reality. Does everybody get that? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, I just wanted to comment that I understand the concept completely. Uh, living it is a whole other matter. <laughs> yes, I know. That's why they talk about you have to practice. At the moment you see situation, pull yourself out. And I always said, think of yourself that you're in a hologram. If you're not thinking that you're not a hologram, it's very easy to go back into the emotion and do your projecting negative. Doubt is also, if you have doubt, what did they say in the previous video? If you have doubt, you start shifting back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, nonstop flickering to infinite number, they told me. And it's basically you stop bouncing off this, 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 this non-stop between those two realities. It doesn't know where to go. But in the end, it's going to peak because it's a quantum field. It's never a mistake. You're going to end up projecting one of those two randomly 
but it's going to project the one that is more into, more infused with it. So if you stay in a doubt more, your trinity, one plus one, three, one between those two is going to end up in a negative. Because you've been projecting more in a negative without realizing it. You guys get that? I know it sounds like so. Pay attention. We're going to go from it. It's not easy. Believe me, I had to go into that for so many times. I like, I like that example, the last part where you said that uh, it's, it's going to end up where you spend most of your time. When you have doubt, what they told me is basically starting to fluctuate constantly like a waveform and you're shifting randomly very quickly into the quantum level between those two nonstop. And you're going doom, 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 doom. You don't know where the reality of the three is. You cannot see properly here. You don't know the reality that is one plus one equals three is going to end up because you just don't know what you're doing. But eventually the quantum field consciousness is going to pick one that is more of it. Right. So whatever you distribute you more into, whatever emotion you stay more into through the day or through the reaction of situation, this is what you're going to project as the trinity, as the third reality. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, does everybody get that? Very important to understand that you may have agreements of an outcome, but when you have to choose, and when you have, uh, we choose our reality, we choose our outcome. If you have an agreement that something's going to happen, they're going to do everything possible to get you into something to happen. Oh. So you're going to end up wherever you go, but you may go to decoy somewhere because you weren't really, you did so many things that they were not exactly in the path that you had an agreement to go, but eventually going to end up there. So it's very important to, when you have a situation to say to yourself, I'm a hologram, I know I project everything I wish to completely calm yourself down to absolutely stillness and awareness because you don't want to take in or give in any emotion. You're in a zero point. After you figure it out and you're aware where you at in the quantum field and what is the situation, because what you're seeing is literally a holographic expression and one momentum in a quantum field of you existing in there. Once you know where you are, then you say, I understand my here. I choose now to give emotion of understanding and go through the heart, go through the positive of goodness. Because remember, higher consciousness vibrating, higher reality vibrate, and a frequency of positive. Why? Because consciousness cannot exist if it's only in the negative. It will disappear. It will completely disengage itself. That's why it's always slightly in the positive. So that's why I'm saying no matter what somebody or whatever situations happen that people start to do negative, 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 there will be a situations that these people that are doing constantly negative or saying negative will dissipate because consciousness has to exist and you're going to perceive realities to make you stop the negative stuff that you're doing because no longer resonate with higher level of consciousness. And since now we're going into fifth dimensional, it's essential for the entire planet and the universal, the universe itself. There is no way. That's why if you want to see fifth dimensional structure, we have to implement that. Not that you're not going to go into different realities and stuff, but I'm saying why not see the ascension? And again, the ascension process, it's coming. Remember what they said. They said, Every single one of us individually is experienced ascension process. What does that mean? That means that if I do the right stuff, if I uh, am nice to people, if I resonate in positive and I'm sharing and giving, this is what I'm projecting moment to moment. And I will see ascension of fifth dimensional structure because this is the new structures that are coming in. I'm matching them and I'm creating a reality to see this type of reality. But if you choose to stay in a negative, being greedy or uh, whatever else you decide to do, your projection will go to a completely different timeline that does not match the fifth dimensional because what you've been doing, you've been giving off 
uh, structure of frequencies that you've been projecting for yourself into the quantum field that is based on very dense uh, structure. And in a higher dimensional sequences, the structure is not that dense. It's very flawless, you know. Imagine like you're swimming in the water, and here is a, you are above water. That could be the difference. Every reality is for itself. Every one of us is making right now their own ascension process. What I would experience would be completely different what you would experience. That's what is so fundamental to understand. That is depending on what I projected. So each one of us is dreaming remember consciousness is dreaming when you're in a dream sometimes remember how one you may touch something in the dream it feels real what they told me that right now this is also dream state but it feels real to you so when you raise the consciousness you're simply shifting yourself in another timeline the way we talk about how you connect with extraterrestrials you merging those two reality into third reality and making a one unit and that's become a reality between their reality and your reality you're making a third reality but in order to do that you have to stop vibrating into their for example consciousness you have to have a similar frequencies in order to make the third reality because the, the frequency in order to make from those two timelines trinity into basically from those two you make the third one you know, one plus one equals three, you have to have similar on vibration. And once you have similar on vibration, you have to be steady in a frequency in order those two to merge into basically one and to make the third one. Does everybody understand that? I'd like to comment Any to everybody questions? and suggest that if you have a question or a comment at this point, this would be a good time to ask it or to chime in with a comment or an observation. Thank you so much, Joe. So let me see. Um, okay, they say understand the neutrality is the one that is giving you to choose which with clear mind, what is the next step of frequency vibration to be given and projected from you and implemented with a strong locational sound vibration? If you want to put this down back into the screen, please. I have a question from Susan. Susan, you're unmuted. Let's hear from okay. you. Okay. Did that work? Yes, it did. Hi. Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> um, let's see. So... You were you mentioned that agreement as you were talking about the process to the outcome. So, does that affect the path to the outcome, or how does I'm confused about that part? Very good question. A proper question right in here. Now, before we came here, we remember how, for example, I get information from the Pleiadians because that was my agreement to do that, and you merge the realities again through the Pleiades. So if I have a contact, that could be, you know, whatever my agreement. The agreement is based on something you have to come to this planet in this particular timeline of ascension and do something in particular. So that's why you have a lot of guidance, a lot of stuff, because you're coming into the pit of all the worlds, a prison planet, and you have to do all this work. So you're always being guided to look at. That. That's why sometimes if somebody... Um, was off balance, it I will end up in a situation that is going to be shown that this person is trying to use me or does something. They may say, they may not tell me what it is, for example, but I will end up in a situation if I did some way, they don't back off on don't do something. If you remember, I had to back off of previous stuff. That's because something happened and I have to really preserve myself of what I was doing and keep the integrity of my work. Okay, so when you have an agreement, you have a specific agreement to complete something which is fundamental. And no matter what it is, you have to go. So I may not listen, I may end up in a situation, but that situation that they're going to show me is literally going to be the one that I'm going, oh my God, yes, and now I'm going to go back and listen. Because whatever happened, it proved me what they told me in the first place was true. Don't even think that I 
listen right away blindly and oh my god let's go let me not eat and now i'm going into precarian and i'm not gonna listen everything they told me in the beginning i didn't really listen because i thought i was losing my mind but everything i didn't listen i end up in a situation and then something happened that uh will prove me that i was wrong and everything and i realized that whatever they told me was true so that's how i start paying attention Okay, Susan, did that uh, Thank answer you. the question? Yes. A, Thank okay, you. thank you. I have a question from Christine. Christine, I can unmute your mic, and uh, feel free to ask if you like. Your mic is unmuted. Oh. Hi, we can hear you, Christine. Oh, hi. hi. Okay, <laughs> hi. Nice shelving. Um, I have. Oh, thank you. <laughs> More it's a, hard, a, a lot of work to decorate. Um, so I have three questions. Um, the first one is, how do we know we're at zero point or stillness? Like, how, how, how do we know? How do we figure out this is zero point for us? Okay. And then my, oh. The zero point, the way they say it is, what they say to understand it is the neutrality. You are neutral. Whatever is happening in front of you, as if you start giving some kind of an emotion and getting upset about something or even happy about something, just pull out, say, I'm in a whole ground, and now just observe the neutrality. Basically, you're in the middle, and you're not giving emotion or you're not taking emotion. You just it, be still. You're neutral so, of the situation. So if we, let's say, we are experiencing a, a very joyful situation and you're expressing joy, is that a neutral state or is it completely devoid of emotions? No, that is not a neutral state. If you express the emotion, please do keep going with a positive because that joy that's happening is not going to hold you in a five dimensional structure because remember this is the new stuff that we're doing right now we're going into 5d that's how this is guys being projected from consciousness and from ETs. all these new frequencies that are coming they're coming from five dimensional structure and above with a positive stuff so it can change your dna can make you awaken so you can start asking questions your dna is being activated that's what's happening. So more you do in a positive, more you're going to see of the positive. So please do. If you feel happy, go on because the next moment that you're going to shift, remember this is in a quantum, you're shifting so quickly that it's going to be again in a joy and again in a joy, on and on and on and on, that the outcome that you're going to project in now create a timeline will be only joyful because you've been projecting joyful. Your stillness, is if you have a situation and it's something that for example is disturbing the way for example somebody in the news remember all this stuff in the news that they're projecting you don't have to take that as your permanent reality you can take that as a projection of a hologram in that momentum this is not your truth that's the manipulation remember you are creating your reality you are the creator so for every moment to moment, whatever they're projecting is simply a hologram of some kind of a timeline that somebody is inflicting on top of you. Because more and more you watch, you're going to think it's true. At the moment you think 100%, remember manifestation is 100%, all of a sudden that becomes a reality for you. Of course it's going to become, because you're the consciousness and you end up believing 100% that this is it, and here we go. If they project that storm is coming, what makes you think the storm is really coming? Of somebody else telling you what should be? Why not? That's the moment that you are aware. That's the awareness. Oh, somebody is telling me into this holographic expression of whatever I am at the moment, that is a in this reality, a storm coming. I understand that's what they're projecting, good for them, love and light. I know. Not I will, because will is, you keep waiting. Everything you want is in the now. Manifestation in a quantum is now. You coexist simultaneously everywhere. 
So manifestation is now. I know that it is beautiful weather. Even if you see that everybody and everything, including the sky, is dark, you keep projecting by knowing that it's nice, it's beautiful. Imagine how beautiful that is, the weather. And you keep doing over and over. Even if it starts raining, you keep doing it. And give a gratitude even for the rain. You continue projecting the positive that is sunny. Even if you see that the rain is pouring, you keep saying, give a gratitude to the rain. Why we give a gratitude? We neutralize it. That's the zero. You neutralize in what you see because now you want to give the new frequency to override the, the rain so you project something that you want. Instead of fluctuating randomly and all of a sudden more is of the doubt that all oh, rain is really coming because somebody else told you. What you're seeing is a holographic expression. Pull out so you're going to choose and be the creator yourself by not somebody else telling you what should be, but you being in power and project the next momentum, whatever you wish to happen for you. That's how you create the three into one unit. One plus one equals three. Okay. So my, thank you. So my next question is, because we're all practicing and because we're all human beings, we tend to have, I guess, program to think in negative ways. And if we do think of a negative emotion, can we tell, can we tell the quantum field, the quantum structure and say, I do not accept this negative thought. Can we delete it from the quantum structure? They said you can delete it by neutrality. You cannot reject your structure because remember, even if you see something, it's part of the structure. Who is the structure? You are the structure. Remember, we are made from one consciousness is made from one particle that is flickering to infinity next to itself, next to itself, next to itself, to infinite number. So you don't want to reject your structure. You say, I understand you there, and thank you for showing me where I'm at in the quantum field pull out give a neutrality of awareness where you at even if you see this is happening and now choose with very strong frequency to project the new frequency into the field because you want to overwrite what you just saw you're not rejecting it you're overriding it okay so using what you want to accomplish as a three to be in a positive the way you like it okay so what I want to yes but I want to reiterate this so what you're saying is that if we do think of a negative emotion we have to kind of understand it in a in a in a very positive perspective and then take yourself out and then switch to a thought, a joyful thought. Absolutely. They just told okay. me they wanted to explain. That's right. At the moment you drop your emotion into more dense frequency, remember negative is a denser frequency. At the moment, stay still and say, oh, I recognize what I just did. Let me just implement now positive because I've recognized what I just did. Okay. And now switch they taught me this way marina change your uh, emotion and i go what do you mean switch your emotion into positive basically feel if i tell you you're actress I, I will say action and i want you to switch your emotion now and start imagining only positive okay and you have to feel it remember what i was saying what they were teaching me when i had to go into the mountain area here and they were teaching me imagine this now and implement only joy of love i end up going into frequency of goosebumps everything was goosebumps but they would tell me increase increase the joy increase the joy to the point that i start getting goosebumps and tears start coming out of my eyes and at the moment and they would tell me increase your emotion increase your emotion like i was an actress and i had to show them my emotion, but what I was doing, I was increasing frequency vibration. 
-hmm. That's what I was doing. I was projecting frequency into the quantum field that I was existing in because I was creating a frequency. All that here is a frequency, all made from frequency. What I was doing, I was projecting for myself a reality with positive frequency. And they told me increase, increase because the reason is because they want it to be very potent. The way you have pills and the pills are 250 milligrams or 500, you want to make it very potent because you want to overwrite the one basically was dense. Remember, that frequency has a different, is similar on vibration. But you want to override it. How are you going to override it? It has to be increased. You mm -hmm. guys get that? Yes. When you increase it and you really get to that point, you have to hold it. They told me, hold, hold, hold. Because when you hold it, you hold a certain frequency vibration of potency that that was constantly non-stop projected on and on and on and on because I was overriding the negative. And once they saw that it was enough, they said to me, drop it. That means leave it in a quantum field and now leave the quantum field to project it. So the next parallel reality that you shift in is according to that very potent frequency that you end up giving into. Mm -hmm. And the outcome of that ended up being very positive. My entire day was positive anywhere I turned. People were nice. Uh, I did stuff. I wanted for something. Once we learn to do that, right now we just remember it because we know. Because remember, you always manifest, but you're not aware of what you're doing. And you're being led to be manipulated from somebody giving you something on the screen of the TV that this is what's happening. No. We're the creators. You can choose your outcome. That's the power. And this way you choose and switch your timeline with completely positive timeline that every war and everything they do, you're going to see dropping off of your reality. Even if something is happening, it's basically going to have a positive outcome of it. So you're going through the structure of all that, but it doesn't have to be your outcome of reality of the negative. It could be in a positive because you keep shifting to reality and eventually timeline you crystallize in that is completely in a positive because you've been projecting and overriding constantly. The reason why you need to drop it is because you're going to let the consciousness that you made up to actually project and crystallize whatever you wish. Pandora box is open. You take everything you need because you did not Give a specific condition. Remember conditioning. We talk about that. Don't have expectations of the outcome. Once you have expectations, you're going to give condition. Let it, let it be. You projected that it's all great. It's all positive. Imagine humanity and beautiful structures, beautiful cities interacting with. If you wish extraterrestrials that are benevolent and you're doing all this stuff, free energy, imagine that and stay on that. Even if you hear that some politician is being doing something, uh, it's time of ascension. That means all the dirt is going to come up in the surface. Cannot stay there. Why is that? Because it's not matching fifth dimensional structure. It's dense and it's going to come up in the open in front of everybody. So I said for you to hate that, give a gratitude that came out in the open. Whatever was happening with whatever these people were doing, everything is coming in the open. Don't hate them. It's their level of consciousness. But let them learn to go to their eventual realities to learn because eventually they're made from what? You projected them. Remember, it's nobody outside of you. You project an ascension. You learn it. You're in a classroom. Learn your lesson. Move on. Now we're graduating. Since we're graduating, what a wonderful time. Thank you for showing me because without me knowing what was negative, I will never know how to choose positive. So gratitude to all and move on. It doesn't matter what somebody else is doing. Remember, even if you see something, somebody is talking, it doesn't have to be your truth. Follow also the money. Follow the money. Who is doing what? If it's really for humanity, do you think they're going to charge so much money to do it for humanity? It's always through the heart chakra. 
why is that watch um the video that i did with Jopena about the money structure why are we doing that because you want to project abundance and you want to see the abundance if you want to see the complete abundance for humanity and end up end up in the timeline that everything is abundance interstellar then project you from yourself the abundance if you have to pay your bill you pay your bills whatever you need to do work then go ahead and do the way we do it with job Anna. that's the reason why i want to stay in this platform no matter how challenging it may be because i want to project that for myself even if it may be selfish but why not why not have a beautiful around me why not project something nice for humanity without um expectations who is given and who is not just be because your be is the consciousness itself you are the consciousness god you are okay okay and then my so, my other question is if you drop off from the timeline that you want because you doubted or you created expectations but then you raise your frequency thinking positive thoughts and emotions again do you resynchronize to the exact timeline that you want again or is it a brand new timeline very good questions thank you wonderful questions today absolutely correct you are creating completely brand new every moment to moment to moment you're creating a brand new and brand new and brand new parallel reality every moment so that's why let go of your um sorrow and everything else that happened to you before because it has nothing to do with the new you that you end up projecting into the uh, uh, quantum field the new hologram that's how you can know to let go of whatever because you literally can override and switch your timeline and this is the reason why some people say i don't remember that person that's because you end up doing completely so many different things that you don't remember this timeline it completely crystallized completely different timeline the timeline is based on similarity of the same frequency that you've been projecting remember moment to moment to moment and all of a sudden you crystallize in completely different timeline that is based on that vibration because it was steady of the same thing on and on and on and on this is the reason why i'm saying don't let your kids watch negative movies play negative games because it's on and on and on negative kill 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 whatever they are doing eventually they're going to project something uh, that may be similar to that what I, what they're doing so again it's fundamental to understand that moment to moment you creating a brand new hologram brand new earth and everything you're doing is you recalling frequencies of this vibrational earth into this one in order for you to know where you at so you can have an experience whatever you choose to do otherwise if you don't know where you at you're going to pop out out of the reality and you're going to say what am i doing here uh, where am i at i don't know what is next you need to have vibrational sequence of recall in order to reprint something so you can have experience of something that you're doing you know otherwise you're going to be somewhere you don't know what you're doing you can you can look completely different hmm. okay so my last question is do you, do they believe oh, they asked me to explain something i'm sorry okay. for example all of you they wanted me to give you an example all of you sometimes go from one room to another because you decided to do something right yes well, I'm sure all of us went into the next room and we don't know what we're doing in there. Yes. You completely forgot why I'm in this room what I'm doing. This is exactly what they wanted me to tell you. To realize how this happened with the realities. You actually completely shifted the 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 parallel reality. What they told me recall the frequency of the other room and what you were doing just before you came in this way you're going to pull the frequency vibration and you're going to find in a memory why you in the next room i've done this they taught me that because i forgot and they said now recall 
-hmm. Where are you at exactly in the room, in the kitchen? And you went into the, the hallway. What were you doing in the kitchen while you were thinking? And I start going through whatever I was doing. I was maybe picking up something. Maybe I was talking to somebody. And all of a sudden, oh. And immediately, you end up realizing where you were. But guess what? You end up recreating completely brand new reality. But you're recalling the frequency from this into this one because you came here you shifted so quickly that you forgot what was in this reality you understand now okay okay so, so my I last ask. my last question is do they think it's very effective to use affirmations to help us correct our negative thinking into positive thinking like telling ourselves that we are good we are joyful we are at peace uh everything we want we have it right now is that effective that is a very good question again thank you so much yes it's very effective because remember when you say that you have to make a statement that you are because your manifestation is in the now not i'm going to be fine that is a false language and is done on purpose because then you keep projecting and you keep waiting to be fine. You want to say now that you are fine. It's a statement. I am great. I am beautiful. I am whatever that is because then this is the frequency that you projected. And remember, when you do that, you have to know that this is 100% without a doubt. At the moment you put down, and you're going to start fluctuating again. You have to know because you need a steady frequency sound vibration of your emotion. The emotion is a frequency vibration. Mantras has geometric pattern, and you can measure it. That's what you need to project steadily. So you have to say with the information, you have to know that you are. Even if somebody else is telling you something else, you have to know that you are. Now, you have to be careful if this is ego because I'm not saying that you have to put you. If somebody tells you, listen, you're wrong about this. Look how you behave in towards others. I'm perfect. Now we're talking about ego here. So you have to be careful how you project that. So don't be so sure of yourself. Be aware of what's happening. Realize what is the situation around, where you at, what are you doing, and then connect. Am I doing this from my heart or am I doing this because of my ego? Do I want to talk to one person or you want to talk to a thousand people because it's, I feel better about myself? Hmm. Okay, we have to really be careful how we are basically peel the layers of all the situations that are around because once you peel the layers, you're going to find the true reason why you want something. Once you do that, then this is the thing you need to work on. Because if you don't peel all the layers of what the situation is, you can have a false ego there. And then eventually your outcome is not going to be positive. And why is that? Because the false ego is basically vibrating in a different sequence again. It's not fifth dimensional. And when it's something like this, you're, not, you're going to project something, but it's not going to be in a positive outcome because you end up putting your ego structure in there. Remember, ego is dense. It's based on false pretense, which is not the true vibration of the heart structure. The true vibration of the heart structure is consciousness itself. This is where it vibrates. That's why you see the manifestation instantaneous, because it's based on a very... Um, they told me uh, frequencies that are so easy that they merge in and it's instantaneous. Except for you giving a condition, immediately it's going to be some kind of a stop or basically dense something to manifest, to move. Is, in order for you to move to this one, to this one, it's going to be dense. And you're going to have some kind of a situations happen and eventually not going to be able to manifest in exactly what you imagine because it's not based on a hard structure. Consciousness is based on a hard structure. So when you peel these layers, watch for that. Did I really do that because of my ego? Or I did it because I really love that person or because I really love humanity? Once you realize that, then you can choose how to project your next frequency.
to overwrite what you just did because nobody, we are perfect, but we get confused. You're perfect in your structure. You understand that? We're all perfect. But we've been manipulated and we've been confused of how this works. Because if we know that, then I want you to have the power for yourself so you don't need me to do it. My job is to empower you because you are the consciousness itself. Okay? That is like math. Once you know that, I know it's probably complex. Go watch it again, study it, and implement it in a daily life. The only way you can do it, and that's what they said, a lot of times you're going to get, once you start learning this, you're going to start vibrating on different sequences. And once you do that, you're going to connect with your guidance. You always have guidance around. They're going to tell you, you're going to be tested. And remember, I always said, no matter how smart we think we are, is always based on how you behave towards people. That's what they're looking for. Because the, when the ET comes, uh, when the extraterrestrial or extra dimensional come in, they want to work with people, with scientists, it's going to be the people that really did something for humanity. Not the ones that just everything is about business and everything is about how many people and stuff. Like, believe me, this is a very false pretense. It, it integrates in your ego. It crystallizes there. It's very sneaky. I talk about this. I did this a couple of times. That's why I'm saying that I'm going through challenges too. And sometimes I put um, my ego like that. But immediately I would get a smack and they would say, look what you're doing. Be careful. And I'm so grateful that they do that because immediately I shift the gratitude and I start projecting only through gratitude without me have expectations towards the people or towards situations. And that's the challenge. That's the challenge with the money. That's the challenge with the people around. When somebody does something negative uh, or they're being greedy, you never see me going and saying this person and going after the person. Why is that? Because I know that the person that did something negative, it stays in their structure because they end up projecting greediness and manipulation. My job is to project positive, to pull out, I may tell the person, I may discuss with the situation and try to change it. If I see that this is not changing, then I pull out. I choose where I want to be so I can be with integrity to whatever I do. And that is work because it's still painful to see that. And I'm talking in general with everybody. It's painful when we see that because we care so much. If you care so much, of course you're going to be painful. But don't hate. Hatred. It's a false pretense too, you know. Love that being because that being is out of balance. And if it's out of balance, try to help. And if it doesn't wish to take your help, pull out and engage your help and engage your frequency with the people that are ready to listen to you. Make your own world. You don't see me traveling around. Maybe one day I will. Maybe I will do some stuff. I don't know. Whatever happens, but I go by the flow. And I enjoy if I do this. I enjoy if I talk to him. Yesterday, I helped three people just like that. You know, did I say, oh, you have to do that? My back of my mind was not how can I make money out of this person because I have to pay bills. It's a false pretense, guys. You can have $7 in your bank account and one person can come in and give you $400 for your work, which happened for me. It's an illusion. What they say, if you need it, and if you constantly do it out of your heart, all of a sudden somebody may come in and exactly what you need to pay the bills will come. Watch money structure. It's all there. So that is the reason that you're projecting whatever you want in a quantum field. And you are the creator and you are making your own ascension process. Remember that. Very confusing with, with the fact that you hear a lot of messages are coming, you hear a lot of stuff. I am extracting, I want everybody to understand that. I am extracting information that I am vibrating on the sequences. So what I am doing, I am projecting into your consciousness a timeline that I want to see. Because right now you also see a projection in your hologram from a different reality. But it doesn't have to be your truth. This is my truth. And I'm telling you, what they help me to show everybody how the quantum structure works. But you can choose to create whatever you wish from that structure. I'm not saying that you have to. I'm saying look what is here. Look what we can do. Look what we, we can create. 
why not be in a positive? Why not be for positive for humanity? Okay? Thank you, Marina. Oh, you're welcome. Was I clear enough? Because yes. I don't, yell, but I don't have my headphones and I want everybody to understand clear what I'm saying. Thank you, Christina. Or Christine. Thank you. Boy, this last segment was powerful. It was chock full of information. I was, maybe I was just he hearing it better this time around than I have every other time. But thank you for that, Marina. Awesome stuff. Okay. Let me unmute you. Hold on just a second. I inadvertently. From John. John is amazing. You know, he does this work. It it's amazing work, so you can look at his website. Okay, so, um, hey, Jay, are you still on the call? I'm going to unmute you if you'd like to speak. You're unmuted. Uh, hey, how are you going? Can you hear me? Yes, we Hi. can. Hello. Hello, Marina. Hey, Jay, how are you Hi, going? Hey, Jay, how are you? Yeah, good. I'm calling from Australia. Hi, Australia. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty oh. late over here. It's about 2, two a.m. almost. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. That was so nice. That was worth it, yeah. Thank you. All right, Jay, you had a, a couple comments. I just uh, That's why I called on you. Yeah, yeah. Did you want to make those comments yourself, or would you like f for me to read them for you? Oh, you could, you could read, read them out for me, and I could take it from there if you like. Um, okay. So, Marina, at, at one point, Jay had this really cool comment. He said, so basically, the structure has created unique expressions of itself to experience and learn from, uh, and learn from itself. So really, there's only one of us here. Is this true? Yes. You got it. <laughs> you got it. Great job. Thank you, Jay. Yes. I, yeah, I just needed to hear it from Yeah. Yeah, and you yeah I just had this realization. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I was just before... I was watching the webinar, I had this realisation, I was sitting there thinking about it and I just had this big realisation, you know, and I thought, and I thought I'll, I'll have to ask you about that one, yes, just, to, just to be able to hear it from somebody else. Yeah. I'm so happy, yes, consciousness is one particle that yeah. is flickering next to itself, next to itself, next to itself, to infinite amount of parallel realities and you coexist yeah. at the same time. That's why I said you are one, you are it, you are projecting it, you are God you are. So whatever you see is a projection into your hologram to make an experience. Very good job, Jay. You receive an A plus today. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Also, um, just a quick time check, Marina. Yeah. We're at the top of the hour. That's so okay. We can wrap uh, as you have time. Or, and I have time. I have time. If you guys want more questions, um, that's okay. I posted the last uh, video of the 11 dimensional beings was um, regarding uh, that we are being helped again. Uh, so I want to explain one thing here. Since Jay, you got it so right. Okay, everybody's making their own ascension. Okay. I know there's posting that it says they're still here. Otherwise, why these things that keep happening? Why these words that keep happening, the negatives are still here? Okay. What you see, again, it's a different hologram simultaneously running at the same time. You don't have to have a part in the negative reality. Switch and choose your emotion by knowing that it's positive. And all that is negative, eventually, you're going to have an outcome that no longer will exist in your timeline. So you don't have to worry. Know that drop all the fear. Know at this moment that you're liberated, that you are free, because you're projecting your own ascension process for yourself and projecting everybody into what you're seeing on TV, what you're seeing somebody talking, including me, it's a projection of a hologram in a quantum field that you tune into. It doesn't have to be your truth. Switch and use all the knowledge that I was talking about. So if you want to see positive, 
The only reason you're going to see positive because you keep projecting and believing if you believe that it's still negative there. Even if you see it, remember, even if you see still negative stuff, it's a cleansing. Everything is coming up in the surface, it's cleansing. Even if you see, keep projecting by knowing that you're in ascension, by you being day by day positive towards others. That is what's really going to infuse your timeline and become a permanent in the fifth dimensional structure by you constantly projecting out of your emotions positive frequency. That's how you do it. Because if somebody said, well, if this was true, I wouldn't see negative people doing this and negative people doing that. That's because you're seeing in a quantum field different structures. It doesn't have to be you. If it comes into your doing and something happens, use the knowledge of through the heart. Always do something, pull out neutrality, and now infuse with positive towards that person because you want to make a step fluctuating to make this one reality in a positive outcome. Does everybody make sense with that? Okay, that's why, um, because time is fractal. Everything is fractal. Moment to moment to moment, you're projecting in a fractal. That means this is a completely different reality. This is a completely different reality. It has not, this reality has nothing to do with this one with you. What you're seeing is grabbing frequencies again in order for you to reproject something that you see so you have an experience. Do you guys get that clear? or? Oh, yeah. We're having an experience all right. All right. <laughs> Marina's work is brought to you through generous donations. If you would like to contribute your support, you can visit www.marinajacobi.com. Also, be sure to scroll down on the home page and join Marina's mailing list so you can keep up with her latest activities. Very good. Today was a good one. Thank you, guys. Very good questions. I'm impressed by the questions because that means that people really get it. And you guys understand how things are. Uh, if it's anybody, I know this is going to be posted on YouTube. If anybody has more questions, please send it in uh, my website, sign into my website, on my YouTube channel. In the YouTube channel, press the little bell. Because if you press the bell, every new video, you will be notified that new video just came out. And when you go to the website, marinajacobi.com, sign in. Because new videos and whatever postings for webinars will be posted there. Because we don't have the uh, uh, funds right now to post it live on um, on YouTube. Okay, so send your questions uh, to my website, and next time maybe we can read or join us, and we can discuss even deeper or whatever that. Is. But uh, I just wanted to say the, the last message from the 11 dimensional beings was that Geneva Convention cannot be trusted. That's what they said. I get these messages from them. So if you want to go and watch uh, from Matt McElroy, Marina Jacoby, uh, you know, all the videos of uh, nanotechnology and stuff like this, they're all uh, there and you can see all the messages from the 11 dimensional beings and the Council of Nine. Hey, so thanks everybody. Your questions were excellent. And I think that's yeah, really helps Marina tap into what she shares with us. One thing, Marina, though, I really I really think would be helpful if you got a little more enthusiastic about your delivery. <laughs> uh, by, uh, by my what? I'm just kidding with you, actually, because uh, your delivery is impassioned. And, yeah. I th and I think we all appreciate that. So, Am I too loud when I'm talking? <laughs> I don't have my headphones and I want to make sure that everybody hears me well. <laughs> I just unmuted everybody. Does anybody have any comments? Yelling. If I'm yelling, let me know you're yelling. I won't get offended. <laughs> no, everything was all good. Everything was all good. Great. Thank you. I know this was kind of complex today, but I'm, it was great to know you guys got it. I want to thank you so much for participating, and uh, thank you from Australia. You know? Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Marina. Thank, thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.
All right. Thank you. Okay, everybody. Yo, as usual, thank you so much. <laughs> you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.